Hey guys, good evening. I'm in Washington, D.C. I'm at my house. Yay! I love Chicago. It was a great time. I, you know, sometimes I think I have more people that show up in Chicago than in D.C. That's just my head, and I don't want to believe that. You know, I, I love uh, my love journey in family in Chicago. They honored me, they bought my products, they taught me, they took me around, they showed me a good time. I love them. We had an amazing, hey Sabera, we had an amazing two events. One was with Mama Sunshine. She's going to come and visit me. She's a singer. She knows all the great singers. I can't wait till she comes to DC so I can meet Sweet Honey and the Rock. Finally, I have never, ever met those sisters and she knows them. I am so grateful for her. She had an amazing party. Um, she had live entertainment. It was like six days. She had a sister named Glow that was beautiful. Um, poets and rappers and all kinds of things. And on the lake, it was beautiful. She celebrated 70 years on this planet. She's an amazing sister. I can't wait till you meet. We're going to have to have a little party so you guys can meet her because she is amazing. And so then once we left there, we went to the womb sauna. We talked about how and what you do to satisfy your man and love yourself too at the same time. And Janine Ann Ingram of Love Journey, she actually puts this uh, event on every year. This year was amazing. I mean, some of the things that she, the, the representatives that she had to speak to us, they told us how to do lap dances for your loved ones, some of the moves that you can make, and how to do, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, how to please you and your man orally. And they actually did a presentation. It was amazing. I, I'm like, whoa, really? But she had it and it was all the way live. But that's not why I'm here. I'm just telling you what I've experienced over the last 10 days. And I am so grateful to be home with my family, with my friends, and closer to my team. I am grateful. Rolita, I wanted to stop past to see you, um, but I wasn't driving. So we rode past Toledo and wanted to stop past to see my sister, but I wasn't driving. So we rode past Columbia and um, Cleveland. But if I ever get an opportunity to drive and I ride past your area, rest in sure, rest in assure that I will stop by. One day God will give me the sight to drive myself or a chauffeur that I can tell him to stop, right? <laughs> It's coming. So I am here today. Hey, Jacob. Hey, uh, Ish. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Aisha. Thanks for dropping by. Share this out. Like it. Leave a comment. Ask some questions. I am excited. Why? Because I left a lot of nuggets and I have two people who have signed up. One is in Paris right now, so we have to finish signing her up when she comes. She left today, Carla Laveau, but she's now in our Carrot Bars group, and I have another one, Ina, who I spoke to today. I have to finish signing them up, but that's cool, and I have a lot of people. I passed out the little flyers and stuff, so I'm expecting between now and the middle of next year folks to come aboard. Why? Because for me, saving in gold is the best thing since sliced bread. You know how good it is to be able to go into the grocery store and buy bread already sliced? <laughs> it's all uniformly put together. Well, that's the way I feel about my gold account. I have five more grams before I get an ounce, and I am so excited. I'm thinking about, let me just buy the five grams and get it over with, but I do have to pay people or exchange for um, you know, services rendered. But we'll see what goes on. So I wanted to really kind of leave you with just seven reasons why I save in gold. And I think, and I recommend that everyone put some protection around their cash savings because it is inevitable. 
listen to me closely, it is inevitable that anyone who has fiat currency, paper money, is going to experience some sort of loss in the next five years. That's just the way the United States is. And most governments who do uh, fiat currency experience this loss because the price and the value of dollars and cents goes down. Most countries, especially, let me just talk about the United States. The United States dollar bill, this is just a fact, is only worth three cents. It's not that products are going up. The value and the money that you spend is worthless. So folks have to raise the price to get enough money just to do the shipping and the handling and processes of food and economies. It's just that that's the way it goes. And it's not backed by anything. Go look at the secrets of money. For those people who think currency and paper is all that and a bag of chips, you need to do some research. And you also, and I shouldn't say you need, I would advise you to do some research. You don't need to do anything but stay black or white or whatever, things that you can't change. But, and it is important for you to know exactly what you're doing. As, as uh, Robert Kiyosaki says, mind your business. Mind your own business. For me, my business is my money. It's not one sole purpose. It's not longevity. It's not my products that I get from other people and sell them. That's not my business. My business is where my money is going. What is it doing? That's my business. That's the only business that I have to take care of, really. All those other things bring me uh, benefits. They heal me. They, they heal other people. They make them feel good. All those things, the spas that I do, the, the books that I write, they're all for you. My history and what I do, that's to